for those of, of you who have been subscribing to our Sears Christmas Book 1954 catalog review, this is going to be our very last section. And our last section, for no better words, we're calling it the gift section. And let's start in. Okay, it looks like we start here with some men's toiletries, umbrella slippers. Down here to some gift items. Let me see, what is that down there? I can't make that out what that is. I'm not looks... quite sure. I don't think it's for clipping off your cigars. Oh, Maybe. it's a nutcracker. I'm oh. sorry. It, it cracks your nuts, gets the shells off of them. Okay, and looks like some little fish were over here for hanging up in your bathroom. And binoculars. Every dad had binoculars. And most brothers had telescopes. There's our little dog growling again. He's looking for something under the couch. Probably a bone. Now, the diamond rings. Ooh. Let's see, how much were they in those days? Does it say how many carrots? Okay, number six here, it says, is a 1-8 carat fiery centered diamond, $49. Hmm. Seems those prices are about the same. Am I right? Mm. Actually, I really don't know. I don't wear diamonds. I don't know. <laughs> and your little um, bracelets monogrammed with your names. So this is our watch section, men's watches, women's watches, um, accessories down there to replace the band when it went bad. Um, that's what people did in those days. You replace things. You didn't just throw it away and buy a new one. You would do whatever it took to fix it, if it be to replace a little crystal um, glass on it, whatever it was. And, of course, there was no batteries to replace in these. These were all your little... Um, you would wind it, so it was called. And you would be go back and forth. Sometimes you'd just go one way. It depended upon your watch. More watches. And a pocket watch right there. People really use those. And even watches for kids. Kids learned to tell time when they were very young in those days. More watches. Some of these are quite fancy. It's kind of interesting how we've gotten back to watches again for a while. People didn't have watches, but now they've gotten back to them. It's kind of neat. Some leather banded watches. These I think are barometers, I believe, to tell you the, what the weather's doing. Oh, this is a wind gauge here. Here's some barometers. Oh, we have that one. We have that one hanging up right now. It's the same one from when I was a kid. And I've got it here in my own home, too. Still works. Thanks for making good stuff then, Sears. More jewelries. Again with the monograms. Monograms. That was a popular thing to do. And, of course, women wore a lot of pearls. That also was a very popular jewelry item. And here it looks like these might be pierced earrings. But it was more of a thing that you wore clip-on earrings in those days. 
like these right here. Those are clip-ons. And here's your pierced. And these fabulous kitchen clocks. Oh my gosh. I love it. I was hoping to see a TV clock, but I don't know if I'm going to see, or a TV lamp. I'm not sure if I'm going to see one. Cuckoo clocks. Everybody had cuckoo clocks back in those days. Oh, here's some more cute ones. A little owl. It's adorable. And, of course, silver. So whenever you had a nice dinner with company or whatever, you would pull out your silver. And usually as a kid, that was your job. A few days before, you would get out there with the silver cream or the silver paste. And you would be the one that would rub the polish on and then polish the the uh, polish cream or whatever you were using back off and make those things shine. Because they did get a kind of that tingy um brownish black to them and of course you'd make them just shine like everything like again so it was really pretty silverware everybody had their silverware utensils as well and of course when you had the girls for the tea party you would have get out your nice um silver tea service I wouldn't be surprised if some of those um, engraved designs on that silver still exist to this day. Only one dollar each. Anything on these two pages. Oh my goodness. Here's the dollar store. Sears dollar store. A cute umbrella. Oh, hey, look at that. The umbrella hat. And, of course, tie and hanky sets. Those were good for dads. Good job, gift for moms the slippers. I guess this is a page just where the kids could go shopping for their parents, sisters. Maybe brothers, too. And here's some more neat gift items. Her mom and her makeups. And of course, it looks like cutting tools for hair cutting. Yep. A lot of times moms cut. Not always did they do their dad's hair. Dad's usually went to the barbers. But a lot of times the moms trimmed up the dad or the son's, the boy's hair. And the daughter's hair. Their bangs. Some more fancy hair brushes and whatnot. Atomizers for perfumes. Dad's travel kits. Keep the fingernails up. And this was more of a, for those people that were more religious affiliated. So you could give them a nice gift like that. It looks like these are some very special gift packs for moms, grandmas. Oh, looks like we found ourselves to the Christmas decorations. They look like some pretty neat decorations. 
ornaments were actually glass. They were a very thin, very fragile glass. And of course, if you dropped them, they usually broke. But they were so beautiful and shiny and shimmery. And then a lot of times folks bought their trees already flocked or you bought your snow and you flocked it yourself. I know a couple of times my dad did it, um, flocked a tree for us, but it was kind of messy. It kind of got all over everything in the house, too. Every time you brushed against it, you took it somewhere else in the house. And, of course, the old-fashioned lights, which are my favorites. I still use those, although, of course, they have modern versions of them, but I use those over the other lights. It's just not the same. You got to have that Christmas light light. I'm sorry, but I think you do. Oh, and then the fake fireplace, the nativity scenes, of course, all the little decorations, just uh, a lot of these things I do have because I collect the vintage Christmas decorations, and that's pretty much the only way I, things I use to decorate for Christmas. And the candles. Of course, Santa suits, because Santa always came to your house. It was usually your neighbor, or maybe even your dad in the Santa suit, but Santa a lot of times delivered your gifts. And this was some... You could actually buy your own playground equipment here. Pretty cool. You could buy Bibles through Sears. And over here, you can buy your Christmas wrap. Apparently, you could buy boxes that had the wrap, the ribbons, the little gift cards, all enclosed in that box. Okay. And cards, Christmas cards. Tons and tons of different kinds of Christmas cards. To this day, I still send out about 50 Christmas cards. And to this day, I get about 20 back. But I just can't stop doing it. I can't help myself. I love to send out Christmas cards. And it looks like this is the hobby page. If you wanted to make a purse, some slippers, a belt, some jewelry... Looks like a wood burning kit. Hmm. And looks like you must have been able to buy your. Oh, this was a freshly cut Christmas tree that could be mailed to you, apparently, for a dollar ninety-five. Your holly, a dollar seventy-five. English holly. I don't know. Five to eight inch sprig, sprigs of it. I don't know how much I gave you, but. Oh, and look at all the blow molds. Oh, my gosh. I want, I want, I want. I want to go back in time and get all those. And looks like you could buy books. Adult books. Adult books. Oh. Like Gone with the Wind. Oh, Gone with the Wind, of course. Love is Eternal. Wildflowers of America. Your uh, rosaries. Your um, Lincoln headset. Kids either collected coins or stamps. Every kid. I collected coins. My brother collected coins and stamps. Typewriters. Oh my goodness. Typewriters. Tape recorders. 
my daughter who is filming this has quite a collection of old um, electronics. What do you call it? Your vintage um, electronics collection? Sure. She has typewriters, tape players, radios, record players, 8 millimeter projectors, 16 millimeter projectors, you name it. She's got it. Paint by number sets. Those have actually come back again, which I've been ex very excited about. Although not that I bought any to paint because I was never very patient as a child and I probably wouldn't be much more patient now. I know myself. But I think it's neat that they brought them back again. But I know for years you did not see them. You couldn't buy them. I mean, maybe somewhere you could, but I sure never seen them to buy anywhere. Oh, and some globes and some, let's say, art kits. Jewelry boxes, stationery. Desk sets. Pens. It was a big deal to give a pen for a gift at Christmas. Dad should always use a pen set. Always. And then here's the playing cards. Oh my goodness. Canasta. I loved playing that as a kid. And here about 10, 15 years ago, I told my daughters, we have to learn to play this game I played when I was a kid. And we learned it. We play it with all kinds of friends now. And everybody loves it. Cameras. Look at those cameras. Man. Slide projectors. Yeah, my daughter's got one of those too. Probably a few of them. And these old brownie type cameras. I have about three of them sitting on my shelf over there right now. You've probably picked up on this that we are a family of um, collectors of vintage items. And yes, we are. We do love our old vintage items. And of course, everybody had these. If you couldn't take the trip, you took the trip. While you look through your, um, uh, what was it called? Um, Viewmaster. And there we are. We've concluded, folks. We've done the whole catalog. We sure hope that you have enjoyed going through this catalog with us. Just thought it was something that needed to be shared. A lot of times we've found catalogs, but they're in such bad shape. And they're missing so many of their pages. They're, you can't really enjoy them. But this was a good one, and we just wanted to share it with you. Thanks for spending time with us. And who knows, maybe we'll find another catalog, and we'll share that one with you too.